The last time DirecTV had new residential hardware was 2015. That's a long time ago, right? Still, it's a testament to those older client boxes that they still work out in the field after 10 years or more. But all of that is behind us. There's new DirecTV hardware to talk about, and it's pretty exciting. It's called Gemini. Even the name is a departure for DirecTV because they've never given a real name to a client box before. It's always just been the Genie Mini client. Well, Gemini represents all new thinking from DirecTV, and it's really impressive how quickly they got this out. Let me explain. DirecTV was bought by AT&T in 2015, and at that point, pretty much all hardware development stopped. The last device to have been released for DirecTV was the Genie 2 in 2017, and honestly, it's, it's worked very well since then, but still, a long time ago. Well, the Gemini box is a combination Genie client and streaming box. That means that potentially you've got only one remote to control everything in your room, and you can switch seamlessly between apps like Netflix and Hulu and live DirecTV programming. Taking a look at the Gemini box, you'll see it looks really nothing like previous DirecTV boxes. It's small, it's sleek, and it's got pretty much nothing on the front panel. Looking at the back, you got a full complement of Ethernet, optical, HDMI, USB, which actually can be used for something, and a power connector, of course. The remote now connects via Bluetooth, which is faster to pair, and it's easier, and it just kind of works. I think you'll like this remote even more than you like the previous Genie remote. There's a couple of things about it that are really nice. First of all, they've eliminated that whole thing where there was one record button and one red button. That really helps customers kind of understand what's going on. The menu button has been renamed home. The info button is now three dots. And that kind of also helps people understand what's going on. Most important, of course, are two new buttons. There's the Google Voice button, which gives you voice search for the first time, and the Apps button, which takes you to all of the streaming apps that you've installed. You also get a power supply for the Gemini. This is DirecTV's standard EPS10 power supply. So if you're replacing an existing client, you can use the existing power supply and there's no problem there. Now, because this doesn't have a coax connection on the back, you're going to need this DECA in order to make it work. You'll get one with the new logo on it. This is just an old picture. It comes with an EPS10 adapter of its own, but it's up to you to decide if you want to use it that way. It will also power via micro USB just by flipping this little gate over. And while it doesn't come with a micro USB cable, my guess is you've probably already got 50 or 60 of them in your home. It's also a pretty cool kind of box, and the story behind it is even cooler. You see, this isn't a Gemini. This is an AT&T stream box, and it was created, I think this one was from, built in 2018. But it looks just like the Gemini. It acts just like the Gemini, except for the fact that it runs a different startup app. And this hardware is identical to the Gemini. So it's not a new design, although we do have new hardware being produced. So we're not talking about refurbished pieces here. We're talking about brand new stuff going out to customers. What DirecTV did was they jumped on it as soon as they could. When the company was spun off in 2022, they went to work and looking at what they had, they said, okay, let's take this box and let's evolve it. They turned it into a Genie client and didn't even have to change the hardware. The only thing that you do is you use a DECA, which is another piece of off-the-shelf hardware, to turn that coax into Ethernet. Or you can just connect the thing over wireless. It's a pretty neat idea. It's pretty slick. Now, I expect that future hardware will be a little bit more integrated into the DirecTV ecosystem, but this is a great way to get new stuff in front of customers quickly, and I think they made the right decision here. Let's take a little bit closer look at the Gemini, what it does, and how it does it. When you look at the Gemini experience, it's designed to be as close to the regular client experience as possible. 
The guide looks a little sharper because it's using a different font than the regular client guide. When you look at the regular menus though, which you get to from pressing the home button, things are pretty much identical with the exception of the apps and settings panes, which are slightly different. Instead of the old school TV apps, you get real actual, you know, apps like you would stream, which is incredible. And not only that, you get an entire home screen full of them if you want, which is really kind of cool. You can change them, you can uninstall them, do whatever you want to do. And because this is Google, they're very easy to install if you have a Google account. The Google Play Store works exactly like it does on a Chromebook or on any other Android device. And pretty much any app that you're looking for is going to be found there, with the exception, of course, of the Roku and Apple TV apps. You can press Exit or Home to go back to the regular DirecTV menu, and you're back in the safe ecosystem. Most of the settings panes are exactly the same, and that's a good thing, honestly. Most of the settings panes are exactly the same. There, there are just tiny little changes here and there, just, you know, to account for the new remote, that sort of thing. But most of the time, you're just going to find everything being exactly the same. As you go further in the settings panes, honestly, there are a few places where you start to see the Android TV panes come through, but it's really not very distracting. And I don't think that regular folks will even get there. It shouldn't be a really big deal. Certainly, once you get into the Google settings and the app settings, you're basically into the Android TV experience. But this is, again, someplace that no one would really ever go. What's really cool, though, is you can add a keyboard to this if you want to, and that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. There are several different ways to install the Gemini. If you've got wired Ethernet where you're going to put the Gemini, you can try using it. Some people have said that it actually works, and some people have said that it hasn't. Really, I prefer using the coax cable and the DECA because you know you're going to get smoother transport. Now, you can power that DECA by plugging into the USB port on the Gemini, see it does something for the first time, and going with a micro USB cable, which you've probably got a ton of at home. The other option is to use an EPS 10 power supply. So yeah, that means you're going to have two of them behind the Gemini. And really that's fine, as long as you've got the extra outlet for it. Either way works just great. I think most people who install this are going to be doing it with the Genie 2. It will mix just fine with other wired and wireless clients. When you go to add this client, you should do it using the Genie 2's built-in wireless. You might need to push that Add Client button at the top, which you probably haven't pushed in a long time, if ever, to make sure that you can add the client directly to the Genie 2. Now, I've had some people tell me that you can connect it to your regular home Wi-Fi and it works just fine. But why wouldn't you connect it straight to the Genie 2? After all, you'll get smoother transport and it's very likely that it's going to work better. If you've got an HR54, you'd use a wireless video bridge to connect it, unless you're going to put it right next to the HR54, in which case you can connect it through the HR54's Ethernet port if you're not using it. And when you do want to activate that Gemini, you don't want to call the number on the screen. Why? Everybody's doing it. You want to call Solid Signal at 888-233-7563. Why? Because we have reps in our Michigan offices who know specifically about the Gemini, who know how to take good care of you and will work hard going the extra mile to make sure that your Gemini is activated right. Get your own Gemini by shopping at solidsignal.com.